welcome to the world of books, music and theatre. This is Tommy Q speaking and I'm here for an artist review and the artist uh, is my favourite musician of all time who I am so happy for, um, even for her being appreciated after so many years is the wonderful Kate Bush. If you know me on a daily basis, I absolutely love this woman. I love her music. I love her style. And if I ever get a chance to go see her, I would love her concerts too. Um, she never really tours as much, but from my knowledge, she has stage fright. And she managed to conquer it when she did before the Dawn tour. But her la last... Her late, very that's her very latest, but her very first one was the tour of life, which is on YouTube, which I will put on the link down below. But her music is just so versatile, but in her own sort of style, very mystical, very rich, spiritual you name it. This is Kate Bush. And when I was watching Stranger Things, which is one of my favourite TV shows, um, my best friend Chris, Christopher's voice actually made a review. But he did not mention Kate Bush running up that hill. And I was saying this to him, you should mention that. But if you want to watch this video, the link is down below. But he did say the whole soundtrack was amazing. And he's right, the soundtrack is incredible. All the 80s, very accurate, nothing um, and in between, which is brilliant and it's perfect. As out of further ado, as I always do this, oh yeah, uh, for the first time ever, um, ignore the, the stuff at the bottom. I was going to be a songwriter, but kind of failed. Um, I decided to make notes for the first time. So I have written notes and everything else. So without me looking through my, my phone, I've left my phone on charge. So I've written some notes down here. So the discography of Kate Bush is her first, from her first album from 1978 to her latest one in 2005. She has released other songs, but they're all compilation. And one of them is a Christmas album. And when we get to November time and December time, we will be listening to a lot of Christmas albums. Some are very old classics. Stay tuned for that one. So this one from her very first album is The Kick Inside from 1978, Lionheart from 1978. She's released two albums in 1978. And this is the one in the 80s, Never Forever, 1980. The Dreaming in 1982. Hounds of Love. And I re-listened to that album because I got one on vinyl. Hounds of Love in 1985. Sen sensational Love. N not, not Sensational Love. Sensational World. 1989. Red Shoes. The Red Shoes, actually. In 1993, which is the year of my birthday. Ariel, 2005, and these are her compilation ones, and this is Director's Cut, which she reimagined for her, her previous songs. This is her Christmas one, which we will, will which I will listen to and review it. Um, 50 Words of Snow, I actually listened to one of the songs, Wild Man, which is a really good Christmas song, my favourite. Um, selection of the other side in 2018 where her music really started to be noticeable for a younger crowd and then it faded off unfortunately but she re recreated them so running up that hill was on there and all the her other greatest so let's kick off with me reviewing each of the albums so what I really like the kick in the inside that the music style is very unique, for, especially for a pop album, is because it's very artsy. The artsy tone really mixed well with the lyrics, like Moving, which was a really great opening for, 
for her first ever album with the artsy tone and this is one of my favorites because it really is relatable for all the men out there um especially the single dads so this is the man with the child in his eyes which is a very personal song that i really listen to and i really love that song it's a personal favorite to me uh, well it a personal favorite to me because it was give out a really strong meaning and i really do love love the song with the strong meaning in the lyrics there she really sees the point of view for all men in that song really really powerful song and this is what i really think she could focus but the, during the time in 1978 they have to make use of what new music was like during that time so her voice is very squeaky very high tone especially for her classic song withering heights I love the song, but it was a bit too high pitch. Um, and I think later in the years, her voice changes, especially to 1985, where her song actually, her lyrics, are, her voice toned down a little bit. But it doesn't matter if her voice is high pitched or anything. I got a high pitched voice. Does it bother me? No. Lionheart. This is where her, I really, I actually got this as a vinyl. I got Hounds of Love and Lionheart as a vinyl. Wow is a beautiful song. Cracking good song. Love the artsy tone that blends in with the lyrics and all sorts. Kashka from Baghdad. I think I've said this. Very spiritual. Really spiritual song. I really like the spirituality that she blends in with her music. And we'll get later with what I mean by spirituality. She really puts in the spirituality music blend in really well. And I, I just love that. Um, Never Forever, Baskomorskusk, I can't say that. It's a classic song. Fun to listen to. Really, really fun. Very artsy. And I just love anything artsy and surreal. It's just, this is where she gets really into her surrealism. When it gets later in, this is the early starts. Egypt, another spiritual song to really listen to it. It brings a lot of joy in. So I really like that. Army Army Dreamers. Loved it. I love the um, the surrealism into it. It really gets into in your head and I just oh just really love to listen to that song over and over again when you have a really dull day. Listen to Ar Army Dreamers. Um the Dreaming, um, I really love that album, very surrealistic and she just loved experimenting her own style of music and all sorts, like Sat, on, Sat In Your Lap, which is a funless song to listen to, like I normally scream the lyrics out when I take, used to take my dog on a walk, uh, I used to sing that, I see the partner. The scene and knowledge that is sat in your lap. <laughs> I love screaming that song, it's amazing. Dreaming is a fun song to listen to, even it's the title of the album. It's really fun to listen to. I really like the fun artsy type that Kate Bush really gets into the artsy tones and into her music, especially in Dreaming. She experiments the songs and the lyrics and the singing. It's just, oh, she's just dreaming was a good song. Now, this is the album that it came from, um, that came from Stranger Things, Running Up That Hill, and it's called The Hounds of Love. I feel that song is all connected, all the songs all connected in a way, and I think, yeah, this is a musical. And it's very well done as it was made, because I love this, I love all the songs in there. Like, besides Running Up That Hill, Cloud Busking, that's another great song. And with Stranger Things, when they use that song on Max, um, it really relates to what Max is going through, because she just lost her brother through an attack, who died, her brother who died, and I thought that they shouldn't have killed him off completely. I think they should have let him carried on and everything. I just think that was just a bit of a bold move, really. 
didn't like didn't like that attempt at all and my light is oh i think i might need new batteries um i just feel that was a bit of a bold move but when when you when she gets that um tablets thing where she actually her eyes goes like this and they they found the formula which is um to get her out of it which is her favorite song and they found kate bush running up that hill and i was like i feel like i am max because i listen to that song all the time and running up that hill is the best song i did a dance piece for it by the way that never been performed but i love it i love the song the 2012 remake is really really good and i will put that in the link down below um pounds of love great one to listen to um very ex experimental clown busting like i mentioned really good now dream of sheep and i think a lot of people may think if they go and listen to that song they will think it's a song about suicide like i mentioned the whole album of hounds of love all connected in a way so i don't really think it's a suicide song allowing them to be weak I think it's allowing her to fall asleep and then be born into something. That's what I actually initially thought when I was listening to it. And I know some people think, oh, it's about suicide. I don't think it is about suicide. I think it's all about, it's all about what is connected to the songs. It's like another one called Under the Ice, which is very mystic and everything and it's like I think it's like a dream song that is coming after and dream of sheep it's like a dream a dream that she's visualizing and then suddenly we get waking the witch that's when she be reborn and become a witch and then jug of life that's just like a perfect folk song and I just love it so much sensual the sen sensual world um, I actually really like that album. I thought it was going to be depressing as shit, but it wasn't. It was actually really good. I love the deep, deeper understanding. I have listened to the um, director's cut version of that song, and that was good as well. But the original I preferred better. Ignore my phone. Um, I preferred that song more than anything else because it was so well done, and I really enjoy that listening to that song over again this woman's work was peaceful really peaceful song i really enjoyed that song the red shoes has to be my least favorite song some of those lyrics are really i don't know it's not because i got fed up with her i really get into her and everything it's just something was missing in there and i really didn't enjoy it lily was okay constellations of the heart was really fun to listen to but the rest of it are just unrememberable i don't know why i just i wasn't really clicking with that album now we get to ariel which was i just finished that listening to that today there was a there was a song at the end because when you look at all the albums some of them are like 40 40 to 30 minutes long but when you listen to ariel it was about an hour hour listening to and it was actually the last song which is called the endless summer i think that's what it's called and it was about 30 minutes long and i'm like let me listen to bits of it great song just don't want to listen to the whole thing maybe i'll just listen to it when i really want to yeah anyway Bertie was a very personal song, I feel, because it's a a song about her son, and she used it in a very folky style, because her son is Bertie, and he actually appeared on the show, on the Before the Dawn show. So that song was absolutely incredible. And then we get to the last song, uh, Coil Room, again, peaceful. Um, I love Kate Bush. I really do. I'm not saying it because putting my notepad because it's I finished all the notes. But we are getting to the last bit of of the artist review. Um, 
I love Kate Bush as a fan. I love her music. It's very spiritual. It's very meaningful. It's all of it is brilliant. And Hounds of Love is a great album. I would listen to that album over and over again because it was such a one of the best albums I listened to. I'm not going to rate which one's the best and all this like I did for Red Hot Chili Peppers. Um, it was because I just don't think that was. I think that was a bit pointless for me. But I feel that sh there should be artists like Kate Bush. I think everyone should start listening to Kate Bush a lot more, a lot often. Like not just listen to Running Up That Hill. Even it reached to number one, which I'm so happy for. She deserve it and everything else. However, there's other great songs that by Kate Bush that people are not even listening to. Like Hounds of Love is a great song. Um, Under the Ice is another great song to listen to. Jug of Life was perfect. Egypt is my favourite of all time from her other from her album before Hounds of Love. I think she's just a great artist, and she should have been number one for a very long time. And the amount of money she was going to get owned for, especially through. Stranger Things, because that was the first song that has been noticed since the series started. They played other songs like uh, The Bangles, Hazy Shade of Winter, and Queen's Hammer to Fall. They played and um, Bon Jovi Runaways. And this song, it was something brand new that the fans in this generation are saying is brand new. It's not. If you listen to the 2012 remakes, that was really good song she listened, she did. And it, the original is perfect. I always love the original and I will stand by the original. The remix is actually really good. And I think everybody should even start listening to a bit of Kate Bush because she's a great artist, you know? Oh, because she hasn't done an album. Maybe because she was wanting to raise her family. That's what I would do. I would quit any anything just to look after my family. That's what I always do. Because family are more important in, in this generation. So yeah, um, to finish to to finish it off, I love this album. I really I love the, her as an artist. The best artist I ever listened to for a while, and I think people should start listening a bit of old music because I'm always into old music. I'm I still listen to. I don't know, Go West, I listen to Go West quite a lot, I listen to a lot of 80s, 70s, you know, and I think this generation should go and listen to our old artists that have been around for years, and even in the 90s, there's still great 90s artists like Shania Twain and um, the Dixie Chicks, well I can't say the Dixie Chicks anymore, um, they're called the Chicks now. But, um, yeah, the chicks who have been around, I do apologise when I say that word because that's what they were originally called. I'm not meant it in any racial form or anything else. I just got the name wrong and everything. Um, so, yeah, love her albums. I really do. Red Shoes could have been better really could have been better thank you for watching i know this is a long video but that's what artist reviews are like if i have to write do an artist review i have to make it longer and talk about all the songs that i listen to and everything else so if you want to listen to listen to the album and the songs that has been on here um Put the I will put the um, description down below of what songs I listen to by Kate Bush, um, and then you can guys go and have a listen to and everything else. And follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Um, recommend and send me some recommendations on any books, music, or any theatre shows you want me to go see. I am going to see Wicked. Hopefully, I am going to see Wicked. I'm sorting that out. I'm actually looking into it. I'm hoping to go see Wicked and have a lovely summer if I don't see you and I'll see you later sorry I'm an idiot <laughs> I'll see you later
Bye.